Okay, hi guys. So, so far we've made our first tessellation tile and we made one cut into our tessellation tile and created a pattern that went one way and then we were able to flip it up and go the other way, which gave us a really cool design. So what we're going to do now is we're going to make a second cut into our tessellation tile. And this one's a little bit different to the way we cut our tessellation tile last time. So what you need to do is have a look at the uh, edge where you've added your shape and you want to find the side that has the widest bit sticking out. So a little bit here, this side has the widest side. And we're basically going to cut down across that side, basically cutting the corner off, Okay, which I didn't want you to do last time, but this time we're going to cut down and cut through the corner. Now you don't want to cut into this cut, we only want to make a single cut so again, we've got one piece here. We want to cut one piece off. So this is what I'm going to do. And it doesn't have to be a very big cut. So I'm going to start here. I'm actually just going to continue this cut. So I'm just going to continue like this and I'm going to cut that much off. Can you see that? In one cut, but I've got a corner on it. Okay, that's really important because with this first cut, it didn't matter where on the line we put it, but with this one, it's really, really, really important that this one lines up exactly with that corner. Otherwise, it won't fit together. We can't put it down here or anything like that. It's got to fit up in line here, okay? So we're going to stick this together just like we did before with a buddy. Now, I don't have a buddy I'm here by myself, so get your buddy to hold your two pieces together like this pushing them together and then put a tiny bit of sticky tape across the top so here's my sticky tape i'm just going to have to so remember a little tiny piece okay and you can see that tiny little piece because we don't want sticky tape over the edge so i'm going to hold this together with making sure that edge is level hold that together with my fingers making sure there's no sticky tape poking over the top okay and remember we don't want any gaps so that's a good fit i'm going to try and get a bit of sticky tape down here because that's sort of moving a bit so here we go another bit of sticky tape and i'm going to put this one a little bit lower oh it's very fiddly you might need a bit of help with this. So we've now got our new tile. So again, tiny bit of um, blue tack. And you can divide it up into three pieces. Don't put it near the edges because when you squish it down, it kind of oozes out and you end up sort of drawing through the... So I've just picked... I might even do a fourth one here. So... I'm going to put one down here. How's that? that? That will hold everything in place then. Okay, now it doesn't matter where I put this. In fact, if you've got it on a bit of angle, I think it makes it look more interesting. So I'm going to put that one down. And if you remember when we're tracing it, we want to keep turning the paper. So we're always pushing against the cardboard if you tend to do it that way your pencil kind of slides off you want something to rest your pencil again against so here we go round we go and I'm turning my paper as I go and I know some of you found last time when you were tracing your first tile that if you didn't trace really carefully you'd end up with a mistake and then it didn't quite line up the next, next time and, you know, your tile got out of kilter a bit more and then it got worse and each additional time you trace, it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. So what you need to do this time is make sure that you really line these up carefully. Now you can go this way. Oh, if your tile lines up um, easily, you might have a difficult shape to line up this way, but you can go this way. And see, I've got this edge down the bottom here to help me line this up. And remember, you want to cover that grey lead a little bit. Okay. You don't need to draw over that line again. So I'm going to turn my 
Now you notice that I kept it up the same way this time. I didn't turn it up the other way. That's because I can't. Watch, if I flip this up the other way, it doesn't fit anywhere. So I have to go the same way each time. So I can go up this way this time. So remember, find those straight edges to line up. I'm looking for that corner to line up exactly. Get that lined up just underneath. It's really critical that you line your tile up perfectly each time. So that's really great, finished. Colouring in now.